Okay, so I just arrived. Now I'm going to try to get a visa on arrival from somewhere. This is a bit complicated. Queue up there, queue up here. But I'm halfway through, I think. Just pay my $51, see what happens. I landed at quarter past five, and it's now 25 to seven. That immigration was ridiculous. And once I'd got my visa on arrival, I could have gone straight through, but no one told me that, so I queued up for another half an hour needlessly. But anyway, I'm in Dhaka now, and it is warm, and it's humid. So here I am, Hotel at La Vinci. I stayed here nine years ago, same hotel. It took about half an hour to get here. So in my room, this is what you get for the best Western La Vinci. And here is some Bangladesh taka. So that is worth about nine pounds 30. And in the mini bar, I'm hoping to find some Bangladeshi beer, which looks suspiciously like Foster's, but this is Hunters. So I'll come to the hotel restaurant. Let's see what the food is like. So the special delights. So this is about six pounds fifty. So the prices are pretty good. Oh, you can get the curries. Six pounds fifty. <sighs> so here is the food. Looks nice. Good. So the sun is setting over Dakar and tomorrow I'm going to do a city tour and see what's around. So it's the next morning, it's about 20 past 9, we're up to our breakfast. Um, but I want to show you this market outside. Even so, I'm just reading about this. Two people were killed, motorcyclists knocked off their bikes. But look at that tuk-tuk. It got stuck in between two buses trying to overtake each other. This happened yesterday. And the occupants are now in hospital. A crowd gathered, dragged the bus driver out. One of the bus drivers beat him up and handed him over. But the other bus driver managed to get away. Dakar traffic. So I'm outside. There's the market down there. Let's have a look, see what it's about. So yeah, sprawling. Some singing coming on from somewhere. So it's getting busier up here. Everyone seems to beep the horns in these in this city. Trips around in the uh, in the leaves. Hello, bye, Sam. I'm okay, are you okay? Yeah, yeah. What's your name? My name is Salim. Hello, I'm Jason. This is Salim, my friend from. Just met him there. What is your country? My country is United Kingdom, UK. Uh, United Kingdom? Yeah. Uh, Very friendly people. I've heard that before. It smells a bit around here though. I only slipped over there. If I'd have slipped, that would have been it. It would have been horrendous. Horrendous. Look at the coils up there. Some strange fruit I've never seen before. Namaskar. Kidna pesa. These are for three rupiah. Don't know what's down here. Let's have a look in. I suspect more of the same. Yeah, it's more fruit and veg. But I tell you what, it's bloody hot and humid already. Hot and humid. So I think I will head back to the hotel and wait for my tour. So we're off to see the Parliament building. Yeah? Yeah. 
traffic is really light today because it is uh, the Eid celebration, still national holiday. Dhaka is not normally like this, it is chocker block with traffic beeping and all sorts, but look at this, this is, this is fine. So here we are, look at that. Don't remember seeing that last time I came to uh, Dakar nine years ago. The Parliament. Try to get a little bit closer to it, but it could be closed because of the Eid holiday. So we've been given permission to, to stay on this side of the gate. So this is the closest I can get to it, but what a great Parliament building. So this is the Martyrs Monument. Apparently they fought for their language when East and West Pakistan split. They were fighting for their Bengali language rather than Urdu. So there's that red circle behind the white pillars which represent the mother and the children and that on the 21st of February every year is covered in red flowers so it must look amazing. So these auto rickshaw drivers will probably hire them for a day and it costs them a hundred which is about a pound and then they make about eight pounds so they make it could make seven pounds profit a day but yeah most of them are hiring them because they cost about 250 pounds to buy. So we've just got out near the National Mosque. Yeah because it's a Friday it's like the prayer day so we're not allowed in. We can have a look around see what's going on see more or less there what's happening in the and the great arch so just walking around like the stadium area um, seeing a few of the things and the shops and the people so people are homeless people here they haven't got jobs and they're just bedding down life's dealt them a poor hand We go. Look at the scrapes on that bus. How many near misses has that had? This is the bit that I am most excited about, having a, a ride on a boat in Bangladesh. So Rocky here is a university student, a part-time travel guide. It's a company Cholo Tours, so worth looking out for him. So here is our vessel. Assalamu alaikum. Walaikum assalam. Off we go. Classy gold day. Hey, I'm the captain. We get a hand massage. Okay, Yeah. See the agent goes to the right. So we just come to the other side after the crossing of the river. Be careful, sir. So there goes my driver, checking his messages. A bit like Venice, sort of. So now we're going to get into the rickshaw with this driver here. Salam alaikum. Here we go. Building ship maintenance place. There's anchors. 
Wow. Good voice. Wow. So you literally just sit in, can't sit too near the sides because if you did you might fall in. And if you swallow any of that, that's it, game over, hospital, life support machine. So here is the Pink Palace. See if we can get in. Could be closed because it's like a public holiday. So it's not closed, but it's just uh, closed at the moment for Friday prayers for another two and a half hours. So that's it. What a shame. But you can definitely see its pinkness. So as a consolation, we've come to this sort of, um, well, I think it's described as an art school. And this is the nation of our yeah. father of our nation. There he is, father of Bangladesh. He's put off by Dhaka and Bangladesh coming here because I think it's going to be, I don't know, dangerous. But everyone is super friendly. It's fine, no problem. So, just the leaves everywhere. So, new delivery of lychees. People are trying to haggle for it. Just wait for the car to come back. I'm going to show you like a shop that sells thick biscuits. See what I mean? Just like wafers and biscuits and cake. Salam alaikum. The shop of biscuits. And the local mosque opposite. So we're inside the grounds of like a campus, university campus, public university. Very colonial looking. So yeah, the University of Dhaka. So they've got a good campus. Can you hear the call to pray in the background? So built by the British East India Company when they were around. Nice architecture. So we go to a local restaurant and get some knock. See what it's like. Here we are. Let's see what it's like. Here is our food. There's the driver. And there's Rocky. So this is Kichuri. So it's, it's like yellow rice. And there's actually little bits of chicken, I think, in there. So yeah. So this is the view from the uh, restaurant window. Rocky was telling me there that all these cables, the government are trying to actually move them underground, but not long ago there was a fire and people jumped from the 19th floor and everyone died apart from one person because he landed on a set of cables like this so this broke his fall and then he flipped around and then he fell to the ground uh, lost his leg i think but it saved his life so we've come to a place where the founding father of bangladesh has got his monument with other people who have helped out in the country Maybe Elton John. And behind me are uh, like the University Hall's residence where he studied or where he stayed. He was studying law here. So these guys are playing cricket at the scene of where the first battle between the Pakistan and the uh, locals happened 
1971, but they uh, failed to quell the independence movement. And a big Buddha just further along. And the Great Lake. actual car of an accident that happened quite a while ago that's and some people died they were quite famous and they put that there's a memorial to them painted it obviously but yeah look at that this is the queue to get in Lalbach Fort which is where we're going next Mental around here. Totally mental. I don't know if we've got a queue or just go. So just buying the tickets. So it's 20 taka to get in for a local and 200 for a foreigner. Two quid for a foreigner. And we're in. All the people, everywhere. This was a huge lake. Not now. It's just so colourful. So on a normal day, you might get 30 people. On a normal weekend, you might get maybe 200. But today, thousands. And that wall is there where the uh, young smooching couples will wait. It's famous for it, apparently. line of rickshaws with their really interesting designs. Look at that, that one there. And then we're in one, although they're not going very far. So I'm just waiting for it to open um, a Hindu temple. I think it's Dhaka's largest. It's the Sri Sri Dakishwari National Temple. last stop on my rip-roaring tour of Dhaka, which would have ordinarily taken far longer had the traffic been as bad. So I don't know why this little bit's fenced off. Is it the holy water? Rocky here, great guide. Cholo Bangladesh tours. So I'm back in my room. It is almost 5 p.m. being out for hours. So that is my day tour of Dhaka. So goodbye from Bangladesh. <laughs> <laughs>